My name is Maynard Raby, Maynard Henry Major Raby. I was born in Gaspe, in Rose Bridge in Gaspe, 19, 10th of April, 1917. My father was Clarence Nicholas Raby. The men that he worked with called him Cal, a short. He, uh, when it came to, he looked after his family, and controlled his family. If there was anything to be said, it was at supper time at night when we all sat around a table to eat. My father told us what he had to say. And as I look back, and I've, I've told my grandchildren, my father only ever spoke once. And all through my life, I never heard one of my sisters or brothers ever criticize or ever come back and ask a question. And as far as I can remember, I think that was the year 1921. And I remember a couple of times when my mother, in the daytime, sitting down and her children around her, if you can imagine that, and she'd say to us children, your mother gets these awful headaches. It's just awful, these awful headaches she got. And uh, as time went on, and I, I realized as I got older, I think that was the, the, the last time, uh, and that was the time when she was possibly pregnant with my brother Gerald that came. Okay, the picture you have there of my grandfather and grandmother, that's outside of their house that they had. And uh, my father, when he got married and that, being the only son, he built his house about 200 feet away from their house. So that we were in contact with our grandfather all the time. The laws at that time of the community was, don't get caught away from home after four o'clock in the afternoon, the children. Once you were 16, then you were allowed to be out in the evening. But if you were away from home after four or, or sunset, you had to be with one of your family, which was a senior, not just a per, another child or something like you. There was nine children in the family. There were four girls. There was Evelyn Matilda Raby, Leticia Raby, and Nona Ravy, Ina Regina Ravy. Then there were four boy, uh, five boys, Sidney Nicholas Ravy, Maynard Henry Major Ravy, Willis Ravy, Gerald Edgar Ravy, Kingsley Olson Raby. Now, when we grew up, as I said before, the girls were never allowed to, to go out and work out on, on the farm or anything. When Christmas came around, the men that were working in the lumber woods, they all came home two weeks for Christmas. Now, the, uh, the school was closed, which shut up for two weeks, the children would go home. And the men would, uh, on a Saturday, would go to the, the school and they would build a platform, a stage. They would bring a tree in and put it up on the, in the, um, on the stage. And then the tree would be decorated and at the same time there would be uh, men decorating the, uh, the school. At Christmas Eve, when Christmas Eve came along, the Santa Claus came. Everybody went to the school that evening, I went there, and the parents would put a, a gift for all the children on the tree, for their own children. And the uh, Santa Claus, when he arrived, of course, about 9.30 at night, you'd hear the, hear the bells ringing and, and jingling outside, and that's supposed to be Santa Claus reindeers coming. And you can imagine the excitement. One, one summer, we got, 
we got involved going over to the uh, where the dock side was for the uh, the lumber company, and there was oh thousands of eels swimming around there. And we found uh, we uh, we found uh, a method how to catch them. You take a long pole and you you made your own uh, instrument on the on the and you you tied it on the end of the pole and you'd put that down in the water and you watch the seal and when he got close you poke him and you'd catch him in between the, the what they call and we used to take those seals home and skin them and then cut them and fry them eat them today I guess but nobody would do that. <laughs> The Raby name came from Denmark. Uh, there was a king in Denmark. And uh, if you remember anything about your history books, you remember when the longboats used to come uh, down and raid the English coast and the French coast and that? The longboats would come and they'd come in the daytime and they'd disappear and they couldn't find them. Well, those men that were doing that were the, were the, uh, the, the men of that uh, Dutch king, and he, uh, or Denmark, I mean, from Denmark. And uh, in the 1300s, he had conquered all the British Isles, a part of the French coast, the county of Bordeaux, and along the Belgian coast, and the, uh, the other country, now I just can't think of it, Hol uh, not Holland, what, what is it next to, uh, uh, well, anyhow. He had conquered all of that, so what he did was he moved his empire from there in the, in the 1300s and he built a castle in Durham County, northern part of England, and I, I have uh, the book and everything about it, and I have the castle and I'm uh, hanging on the wall at my place where he built, and that's where the, the Raby name was originally R-A-B-Y. The book I had that I have got about 10 years ago on the rabies, you can, uh, the rabies name is spelled four different ways but always pronounced the same. Now if you want to follow your ancestors, you follow that the way it's spelled and you always go back to the castle, the rabies castle in England. And it was only after he moved his army in there that the British Empire became famous because most of the men that went out and fought the battles for the British Empire came from his castle from there. Okay, I married Pamela Shepherd in England and we had two sons, Brent and Grant. Brent lives in Canada, Grant lives in England. Brent got married to Casey Adams, and they have two grandchildren, two daughters, Elizabeth and Allison. My son Grant in England, he married Kate, no, he married Jane Wheeler, and they had three children. It was Kate, Christopher, and then Nicholas. There was four grandchildren and, no, there was five grandchildren and four great-grandchildren. Now the family living in England, there was one girl and two boys. In Ontario here, of course, there were two girls. That consists of my family. My wife and I separated in 1971. She wanted to go on her own, so she left home. And I've lived on my own since. <laughs>